Biz. It's your girl Clemens Wine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Mis amores. It's your girl Clemens Wine. I record energy and people to fill. Oh, and this is our horoscope. Okay, we're gonna find out what our spirit guides, our angels, and our ancestors want us to know right now. For this energy, for this moment, okay? Whenever you're watching this reading, it's a timeless reading, okay? So I'm going to get into it, see what we need to know. So y'all know I'm also a Reiki practitioner. And this Friday, we are doing a collective candle Reiki that includes a YouTube live sound bath and group reading. Now, our focus is the higher heart chakra activation. This very powerful portal, this seat of the soul is between our heart chakra and our throat chakra. It helps us to telepathically communicate for self-actualization, okay? For realizations, for forgiveness, unconditional love to raise our frequencies, clear out any densities and stagnancy, secure your spot on my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com, okay? It includes distance Reiki, a YouTube live, sound bath, and a group reading, all with your girl, okay? For $14.44. When you secure a spot on my website, you get a download and there's the link for Friday night. You can always watch it Saturday, Sunday, whenever you want to. Okay, baby? It's Reiki energy. It's for our chakras to clearing out any density and stagnancy. So I can't wait to hold space for you this weekend. Okay, we've been doing this for over a year, child. Okay, and I feel like everyone is just so different and powerful and I cannot wait. Now let's get into this reading. We're gonna find out what we need to know right now for our highest and our best at this very moment, Spirit. What is the message that we need to know right now, Spirit? What is the message? I'm seeing a lot of this yellow energy, okay? A lot of yellow energy. This could be our aura for the day. So it's a yellow type of energy, okay? This is joy, okay? But some of you guys are feeling a little bit indecisive, okay? A little bit indecisive, I'm hearing hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, okay? Seeing someone playing double dutch, they in, they out, they in, they out, they in, they out. Pero... With this energy, I'm feeling like if you're confused, don't do nothing, okay? What that means is that if you're confused, wait for the fog to settle. Wait for the dust to clear, okay? And leaning into this energy of, of joy, okay, with that yellow energy, of realizing our power and realizing our strength, okay? We are more powerful, more strong. Then we may have uh, originally have believe about ourselves, okay? Then we may have originally a belief about ourselves, okay? A lot of us here are focusing on connecting our inner child with our higher self, okay? Focusing on connecting our inner child with our higher self, okay, beloved? Because that's this energy right now of cancer season. We're really needing to nurture our little me, our tiny me, you know what I'm saying? We also needing to nurture our babies, okay? If you have any kids, spending more time with your kids at this time, or, you know, yo, yo, your nieces and your nephews and your cousins okay spending more time around this energy okay this is something that like really wants to come through right now is about the inner child is that the inner child what our idea the adult idea of an inner child it is kind of distorted from an actual child okay so if you really want to get attuned to the energy of a child you're needed to spend time around a child or remember what it's really like to be around about a child you have no shame Okay, so that's one. We're needing to release shame. A lot of people have shame around how powerful, strong, brilliant, creative, um, because people, you just so big, you're bigger than life, and people have been trying to bottle you. People have been trying to tell you, you're too much. You're too much, okay? And you know what everyone is saying? Oh, I'm too much, go find less than. Go find less than, okay? But it's like, if you're too much, baby, you need to continue to be too much. Don't play small with this energy. Do not play small with this energy because children aren't about playing small. They have no filter. So if you want to really invoke your inner child, no filter. That means say what you say and mean what you say and mean what you say and say what you mean. That means you're authentic. You ain't holding back. You're not people pleasing. You're not saying something because you think that's what someone wants to hear, okay? With this energy, you're keeping it real. That's the first step. 
The second step is knowing how powerful you are. Children are close to spirit, okay? Children are close to God, okay? So knowing that you're divine, knowing that you come from spirit, okay? That's another way to be connecting here with your inner child. Laughing, don't take things so seriously. A lot of people want to get their... their, their I'm seeing their knickers in a bunch, okay? You want to get your underoos in a bunch, okay? You know, you want to look and you want to get mad and you want to get angry, but that's the old world way of thinking because anger and that frustration is going to almost be hitting you into a wall unless you activate that creativity that comes from it, that ingenious energy that comes from it, okay? So a lot of us here, even if you are angry, find something to laugh about. Use that energy, get angry, express it, show it, and then to the point where you have to laugh because it's never that serious, beloved, damn. Okay, so <laughs> that's something we need to know for our horoscope today, beloved. Let me pull some cards, see what exactly... Spirit wants us to know we have the King of Cups here, okay? The King of Cups here, tapping us in with our intuition. We have the lovers needing to make a decision here. This is that, you know, classic crossroads, needing to make a decision and go with your heart chakra, go with what you love. Some of you guys could be getting... Um, emotional support from those that you love, okay? Or you're giving emotional support to those that you love. We have the nine of wands that came up out the deck here. So I'm seeing exhaustion, fatigue. I'm seeing someone don't know who to trust. You don't know who to trust. You don't know who's there for you, who's not there for you, okay? We have the devil card. We And the devil card and the lover's heart, they go hand in hand. So we have Gemini, and this is also Capricorn energy. Doesn't mean that you're that sign, but these are the energies that are coming out. Could be your placements, could not. With this energy of the devil card and the lover's card, some <laughs> Woo! There's a lot of messages coming in here. And one of them is um, someone... <laughs> could be feeling a little bit pressured by someone in your relationship. Now, this is codependency. This is like um, someone who who relies on you. It could be a lover who who turns into the devil type of situation, okay? Um, or when you, ooh, when you love something, but then you overindulge and you do it too much too, it, it, it starts to control you. You know what I'm saying? It starts to control you, okay? Another thing I'm seeing with this energy is someone here, with this devil card, you're putting a lot of control and um, power into somebody else's hands, okay? Some of you guys could be putting a lot of control and power into somebody else's hands. Some of you guys, this could be something that you feel controlled by, like a nine to five, a, a parent, um, an institution, a school, something like this, okay, as well could be feeling, you could be feeling really restrained or held down by these obligations. I'm also seeing someone at war with what they think they need to do and what they want to do. They're at war with what they think they need to do and what they want to do, okay? We have the judgment card here. We're talking about huge transformation. This card is ruled by Pluto, okay? And this is deep transformation that we're going through. Some of you guys are transforming from this devil energy to this lover's energy where you might have been in almost like a dark night of the soul or feeling a lot of energy of pressure in your head and your crown chakra and now you're like opening up you're loosening up we have the judgment card here you're needing to stop being so harsh on yourself stop being so harsh on other people okay um as well even if you feel like they're the ones that's being harsh on you and we have the four of swords and the nine of wands some of you guys here are needing to say go break okay rest like i said have some fun it could be challenging for you a lot of you guys are so programmed to do 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 that you do not know how to be 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 be, be. that means you cannot meditate but you could scroll all day on instagram okay you don't want to go outside and talk to the birds okay but you could talk bunchencha and gossip Okay. Well, how is that feeding your soul? How is that feeding your spirit? Think about that today. How are you feeding your soul? How are you feeding your spirit? Okay. We have the six of pentacles here. This is bringing us into balance. So what is it that needs to be balanced out? A lot of us need to balance our, our relationships. You need to have boundaries with people. Okay. You need to have boundaries with people so you can rest. Okay. Um, so you can rest, take that time for yourself to recharge, okay? Some of you guys here, you're seeing that maybe someone wants more for, from you than you're willing to give. Someone wants more for, from you than you're willing to give. 
some of you guys here, if you're, if you are needing for help or if you are, um, needing extra support at this time, you're needing to open up your throat chakra and ask someone. Okay. Cause this is a giving and the receiving card. Okay. So it's just as much as you're down to give and give and give and be there for other people, improve your worth, allow yourself to receive, receive, receive because you're worth it because you are loved. Okay. With this King of Cups, we could be feeling very emotional as well. Very emotional. I'm hearing wishy-washy, wishy-washy with the decisions. A lot of people are stuck between again that energy of what of what's expected from them and what they want for them, like from themselves. Okay. Some of you guys here are falling into an addiction, an addictive pattern with a person um, or with the habit of some of some sort. OK, some of you guys, this could be something that, you know, is plant medicine that really takes you out into another world. OK, um, some of you guys, this could be, you know. I don't know, like really like um different type of psychedelic energies. This could also be like drinking a lot. OK, as well. And we're needing to have that moderation, okay? We have despair, we have widower, and we have journey, okay? Yeah, 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 okay? So some of you guys here are feeling like this energy of despair. You're feeling trapped in your cycles of 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 obligations, of responsibilities, of of the of the ball and chains, and it's help, holding you to this point of despair. You're feeling hostage, okay? You're feeling hostage. We have this widower card. You're needing to dead something, okay? There's something that has long expired, okay? Pay your respects. Some of you guys here are going to visit your ancestors. You're going to visit their graves. You're going to see your your grandparents, okay? Um, some of you guys here. This could have also been on the father's side. It could have even been a sibling as well with this energy. But there is this symbolism of the graves of, of, of the dead, okay? And also, beyond the physical death, some of us here are going through emotional, spiritual transformation as well. And this is the old you that you're needing to put to rest. And we have journey. And this is about staying curious. It's about making that decision when we have the lover's card and going on a journey, the path of least resistance, the, past, the path least traveled, okay? Some of you guys here with that King of Cups cards, you are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are a water sign. Happy birthday to my Cancers. Birthday blessings to you all. My crabby patties. We have energy and frustration. Like I said, that anger and that frustration and energy. So a lot of us feeling a lot of this. Woo! Hold up. Feeling a lot of this energy. Okay? An extra amount of energy. What are you going to do with this energy? Okay? And Spirit is saying to transform this okay and this frustration i feel like it's gonna take you to another place okay it's gonna help you to be a more a creative okay now let's see what's blocking you at this toy we have surrender to success okay ashe surrender to success my loves because with this energy whatever you are needing to choose whatever courageous you courageously choose you choose from your heart you choose from that lover's energy you're going to be successful baby make way for the success can you smell it baby you smell it rich to me this says you are ready to experience abundance don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting world of new possibilities ashe i i accept that do you accept that do you accept your success beloved do you do you do you i'm gonna end the reading with a goddess see what goddess has a message for us see what goddess has a message for us today what goddess 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 Dana, high priestess okay a lot of us our intuition is next mother effing level okay this says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching Okay, so a lot of you guys coming into your energy of the high priestess, of your own oracle, of your own intuitive, um, your own intuitive gifts that are coming through, okay, at this point. Trusting in your intuition, going with your gut as your guide. And then we have at the bottom, Irene, peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautiful. Okay, yes, I know that's right. Drop a B emoji if you're feeling this message today, mis amores. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment. I love to read the comments. You can also 
to pay my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. We can abundance and fold over your life. Go to my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com to secure your spot for Friday night's Reiki session and YouTube sound bath and group reading for the higher heart chakra to increase our energy um, tele telepath. <laughs> telepathy okay self-actualization self-realization okay and our compassion love and forgiveness our ability to stand and be more authentic and realize who we really truly are my love i cannot wait for this weekend i will see you all there bye